हेलो एवरी वन टेक्नोलॉजी हैज रेवोल्यूशनाइज द वे वी करेंटली टेक नोट्स स्कूल में क्या होता था यू हैव मोर टाइम एंड लेस थिंग्स टू रिमेंबर बट इन कॉलेज इट्स कम्प्लीटली ऑपोजिट यू हैव बेसिकली थ्री एंड हाफ मंथ्स ऑफ अ सेमेस्टर बट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टू रिटेन एंड मेमोराइज सो दैट्स वाई एज अ कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट आई एल बी गोइंग थ्रू द थ्री इफेक्टिव वेज ऑफ नोट टेकिंग दैट आई हैव यूज इन माई कॉलेज एंड इट स्टिल करेंटली इम्प्लीमेंट एज वेल सो दैट यू कैन टेक बेटर नोट एज वेल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट but before that there are currently two popular ways of taking notes number 1 is to type all your notes number 2 is to write notes with actual paper and pen and princeton and ucla did a research and according to the research they divided students into two groups number 1 who just typed all the notes and number 2 who wrote all the notes with paper and pen or you can say ipad and pen and it was concluded the students who wrote all the notes they were able to retain information twice as compared to the students who typed it and also they had better factual memory better understanding of the concept and they were able to retain information for much longer as compared to the students who typed it so that's why it can concluded writing information is the way to go so that's why today i'll be using my favorite noting app which is good notes 5 and i had also compared good notes 5 which is one of the most popular app on ipad with another app which is notability and in that comparison also good notes 5 was a clear cut winner now going through the app i want to share my favorite feature currently which is about to be launched so that is good notes community and going through the good notes community you can see thousands of students who are currently using good notes and they are uploading the notes that they are taking as well so in the community you can see precise notes written such as this note taking guide which is my favorite so i'm going to download it and i'm going to show you that this is my favorite because it shows how you can convert the whole chapter into one page so let's notes you take faster you will be able to memorize the same principle and other examples include these biology includes these hex codes which are very popular and the best part is you can download any of these notes and start your note taking from there so what i'm going to do is download my favorite set of notes create a new page on this note and start from here so apur uh, can you give me notes for network security network security is ha tumhare paas pata nahi dekhna padega copy mein likha hua tha uh hack nahi ye dekhna padega mere khayal se oh but if you had ipad today you could have easily searched through all the notes through good notes unfortunately not now and now to get this feature on your ipad all you have to do is just click the link in the description below and it's absolutely free and then add your name to the wait list to get this feature because good notes community is not yet available for everyone and next step would be to simply take your notes and share with the community as well so for example so under classes these are my mba notes i'm going to click on contribute to community fill this form quickly and that's it i am in the giveaway and the prizes are going to be so so amazing so in the month of june july and august the prizes were like ipad air airpods pro and iphone 12 now it's your turn to participate in the giveaway for september so make sure you sign up for that with the link in the description below so starting with this template before that we're going to imagine we are in a classroom and we're going to get started with chapter called proofs and i'm going to show you how i take notes and before that i'm going to make sure that my ipad is in do not disturb mode that's step 1 step 2 add a page so while creating a new page i'm going to make sure i follow a similar structure so that's why i'm going to create an a4 size paper because you can fit more content in a4 size and then square paper for sure apply so title 1 proof by contradiction so now if you notice here i have written two proofs already in this much space and you can see i can easily fit the whole chapter in one a4 size paper as well and if you notice that the way it was taught one slide was one proof but i am able to summarize it easily with short forms for example by using the symbols so that's the idea of notes is 
to write all the important information and when you read it you are able to understand it easily i use the symbols like belongs to and other symbols so that i am able to understand it better and faster now let me share three rules of note taking that i use every single day so number one which is to take most of the important information out of the lecture so lecture could be around 1 hour 40 minutes so your goal should be to take all the important information rather than the whole information so let's say that the lecture is about 16 pages so this is a lecture slide 16 pages what i have done here i have easily been able to convert the whole lecture slide of one chapter into one page because that was a math related class it's computer science class algorithms it's about proofs logics it's like discrete math kind of class and i can easily convert it to one to two pages the whole slides so less information you can easily go through less information easily and prepare better now rule number 2 rather than referring to lecture slides and notes separately take notes on one place so what i'm going to do for this rule i'm going to quickly go back to my lecture slides so let's go to classes folder and then let's go to computer science 2510 that's discrete math course that i'm that i'm going through so let's go to lecture slides and then let's go to chapter 1 so here what i'm going to do is rather than taking notes on a different piece of paper i'm going to take notes right on the lecture slides so that i don't have to carry extra paper and i can get all the information on my ipad so let's say teacher is teaching us or the professor is teaching us this chapter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write notes right on the lecture slides and i'm going to also write the information such as which lecture is more important because if the professor is paying more attention or spending more time on a particular lecture or particular slide that means it is definitely going to be in the exam and that means it is definitely an important lecture so make sure you focus on every slide and you can easily tell which chapter is important and which is not if the professor is spending more time on a particular chapter that means it's important if she or he is spending less time then that means it's not very important this is important not important and you can write the answers right over here on the slide and this way you have to refer to only one piece of information rather than multiple and you can implement the same in your textbooks as well so you don't have to carry a textbook always get a pdf form so that way whichever page or chapter is important you can mark on the book itself highlight on the book itself rather than taking notes on a different page take notes on the book itself so that you can refer to one piece of information rather than multiple pieces of information number 3 rule now the most important rule whenever you complete a chapter let's say whenever you complete this chapter called proofs whenever you're done you add a new page in the beginning of the chapter so add a new page before the first page and then i i'll choose squared paper So the summary page should be the first page of every chapter because I believe to teach is to learn twice. So when you're writing a summary of every chapter, you're actually teaching yourself that these are the all concepts I learned. And when you go through the chapter, you can go through the summary and check if I remember this term tautology, if I remember this term negation, statement, controversy, etc. And then open. the chapter to see the answers this way concepts will be more clear than before and the last final tip will be to keep all the information organized so just like i have for example let me go to the class folder so this classes folder has a class called 2510 which is this discrete math class so open the 2510 folder then you should find your textbook labs homework and slides i don't have a homework folder because i didn't do any homework yet so labs folder will have all the labs and slides folder is all the lecture slides that professor gave it to us and textbook in case something is not on the lecture slide so make sure everything is organized and it's easy to find so this way when you search for any word so let's say in the search bar in the search section if i try to search for any single word let's say i try to search for the word think it will come up not just in the handwritten notes but also in the lecture slides this makes it easier to find definition if you will search for tautology or any definition it will come up on your notes as well as on your textbook so you can compare if it is written correctly or not so make sure keep everything organized so these were the basic note taking tips applicable for any given class chapter or any major but talking about computer science related algorithms i will request everyone to first when you read the algorithm or the problem when you are going on lead code algo expert 
or course forces, code forces, or interview with any of these websites, just make sure you lay it out like by drawing like what test cases it requires. Just make sure you understand it on pen and paper or iPad and paper first and then solve it because that will make concepts more clear. As they say, to teach is to learn twice. So teach yourself first and then learn and then implement. So that'll be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.